Hi guys, my name is Lennox Bennett. Welcome to my channel. Please hit the like button right away. Alright, if you are not a subscriber, please ensure that you subscribe right now. Alright, as you can see, this is a paper from the Trinidad and Tobago Secondary Entrance Assessment. And pick up Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. According to YouTube, that country watches my videos the most. Mr. So Bennett, appreciate you all. Alright, and that kind of push me to say, let me see if I can do some of your exams that you guys are doing apart from CSEC. So that leads me to the SEA, which is the secondary entrance assessment. Very good papers. Big up to the people in Virginia and Tobago. Um, if you are from China and Tobago, just leave a comment here. Much love from Jamaica, all right? Appreciate you guys, all right? All right, so let's begin. As it says, um, this is just basically formality for the actual test. So we just go right to the paper. Instructions and everything. Data break, blah, blah, blah. You know that already. Um, but this. And it says now you are not allowed to use calculators. This is as three section as a total of 46 questions. Section one as one to 20. Section two, 21 to 40. And section as three questions. So you have 45, 75 minutes to do the test, which is one hour and 50 minutes. I think that's a bit short, but that does show me that the type of students you guys are all producing. Awesome, awesome. We go from Jamaica, all right? So we need to appreciate you all. Um, if you're from other Caribbean country, you can also leave a comment or like, just let me know, guys, all right? Um, it's a very good feeling to know that persons all over the Caribbean are a part of my channel. We so need to appreciate you all. And not only that, um, you guys are a part of my class. Um, so, yeah, man, I appreciate you guys. All right, so let's get to it. And this is the working column. So sometimes we're going to work in the working column. Sometimes we're just going to go straight to it. So it says, what's the difference between 417 and 392? So I think I just write it here. 2 from 7, 3 from 5. So them always start you off nice and easy. 9 from 1, you can't. So basically, look at it as 41. So it will be 2, right? But let's, if I should show over again, you can put 3 here. 9 from that leave 2. So our answer would be 25. All right, let's look at number 2. It says, I should dig it up a bit. It's a bit fine. So it says, write 3.49 to its to the nearest tenth. So guys, be careful, right? So the nearest tenth would be right here. All right, so we check this number. Since this is greater than five, five or greater, we add one. So that would be 3.5. Remember, with the decimal point, this is the tenth, this is the hundredth. And if you had another one, it would be thousand. All right. It's a very nice question to start here. All right. It says a pizza as was cut into 12 equal slices as shown below. Shade one third of the pizza. All right. So one way you can look at this, um, you can look at it as equivalent fractions. So basically, it comes 12. So what fraction, what number here can make this equivalent fraction? So let's go back to how they got four. It will be three multiplied by a number to give you a 12. Type that in the comment section. What number times three give you a 12? That's four. So you do the same thing, right? You multiply this by four. So that's four out of the 12. So let us see if I can get four, so one, Two, three, four. All right. So this let's just follow the instruction. But you guys get the joke, all right? So you just share that portion and you get your marks. All right, let's move on. It says write one of the following symbols as for number four in the box. 
greater than equal or less than. Which one would go there in the box by is three quarter? Is it equal to seven over twelve? Three quarter is it less than seven over twelve? Or three quarter is it greater than seven over twelve? Alright, so let's see how we can do this. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna see the bring them to the same denominator. And the LCM of that will be 12. 12 can, 12 can go into 12, 12 go into 12. Four into that, 3. So already we can see that 3 quarter is greater. Well, let us just finish it. 12 into 12, 1. So that's 7. So 9 is greater than 7. That means 3 quarter is greater. And greater than is right like this. Alright? Just think about the right hand. As I say, guys, big up from Chinda to Bigo. Thank you guys for watching my videos. I appreciate you all. Big up um the entire Caribbean, not just Trinidad, especially Guyana, also, Grenada, Barbados, Bahamas. Big up everyone. Dominica. Dominica not give me support yet, but big up on the self, man. All right, so it says a piece of ribbon is seven over ten meters long. A piece. Measuring two fifth of meter is cut off. What is the length in meters of the remaining of the remaining piece? So and guys, you know you know say Argentina drop out today, right? If you guys know that Mexico is gonna kick them out. Alright, so what we're gonna do is a subtract so we bring them to the same denominator, which is 10, 10 into itself one. So we multiply this by one. 717, remember I subtract 5 into 10, that goes 2 times, so we multiply by 2, and 2 times 2 is 4. So what remains? 7 minus 4, which is 3 tenths. Alright, so our answer would be 3 ten meter. What I didn't check a while ago, guys, um, if it was the same unit, please ensure that you check if it's the same unit. Yes, it's meter, but if it could have been centimeter, and I didn't check that, so I'm sorry about that. Hit the like button for Mr. Bennett now, guys. Hit the like button, man. Question 6 and 7 refer to the following information. In a spelling contest, Peter was given 40 words to spell. He spelled 32 words correctly. What fraction of the total number of words did he spell correctly? So this one is a percentage. So let's put the information. He was got 32 out of 40. You can look at it that way. Just a type of test. Percentage means type it in out of a whole hundred. Alright. So when once you find percentage, times by a hundred percent, and then you can break it down. Remember, no calculator is allowed. Yeah, use eight. Eight four is thirty-two. And listen to this. 8 into 45, 5 into 1, 5 into 120. Alright, so now we just multiply 4 times 2, 20 rather, which is 80%. So very well done, Peter. You got 80% correct, and that's an A out of it. Alright, Argentina drop out today, Mexico. The more big up Brazil fans. All right, Peter must spell at least 90% of the words correctly to qualify for a consolation prize. How many words should he have to spell to qualify? So remember, it's he must spell, he must. Um, right, let us say that now. The total was what 40, so it's a total of 40. Don't know how much he got, so I'm gonna put x. What we know when it times by a hundred percent, it should equal to 90 at least. So, all right, so let's go. We're gonna transpose now. So, we're gonna have 40 times 90 as this is being divided. So, we times it by 40 and divide by a hundred, and that should give us the answer. So that's about 36. Well, let us work it out. 
as I was thinking, 9, 4 is 36, that's 3,600. But let's just work it out step by step. Um, bam, 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 bam. So I am correct, 9, 4 is 36. And it makes sense, right? You must get at least 36 words correct. Because look, if 32 give you 80%, that means 36 should be close, right? 32 and 30, that's the end. So you must get 96 words correct. Very nice question, should I to be able to big up yourself? I love when you guys structure your questions. I must see that. Big up, all right? Number eight, the first four shapes in the four first, the first, uh, the first four shapes in a pattern are shown below. Each shape is made from squares of the same size. All right, how many squares would be there in the sixth sheet? So we are at four. So let's see the pattern. Uh, two square, three square, four square. All right, so that will be 36. Oh, we get 36. All right, so let me see. One, two, three, four. It would be like, you can't draw some good little guys. But it's going to be six. Six square, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that gives you 36. Following the pattern, right? One more, I think. Yeah, and that gives us 36 squares. Very nice question. All right, let's move on to number nine. It says now, complete correctly the sentence in question 9 and 10. One liter is equal to how many centimeter cube? And we know that it's 1,000 centimeter cube make one liter, right? No, no, what are they? What are they? It never say milliliter. What are they, guys? One thousand milliliter. Yes, I'm correct. I'm correct. Hey, sometimes I get too excited. So that's correct. One liter is one thousand centimeter. All right. So one hundred twenty minutes is equal to how many hours? Now we know that sixty minutes make one hour. You guys know that from watching the movie and stuff, right? I did that to the class also. So if 60 minutes, that means you double it, that means it will be 20 hours. 60 times 2 to show the work. All right, let me do that because I don't I want you guys to get in the habit of showing work in always. So that's 120 minutes. All right, so let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, we could say 120 divided by 120 divided by. 60 is equal to 2. Whichever way you look at it, right? So it says now the length of a carrot is measured below. Bunny, 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 bunny. What is the length to the nearest centimeter? And we start at 0. So we can look here. So it should be able. So we start at 0. We have to check that first. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's much closer to 5 than 6. Just like a little piece. This is closer. So it will to the nearest centimeter, it will be five centimeters. Right? Let's go, guys. Let's go. We're at 11. A far way to go. Let's go. So it says a square sheet of paper has sides of 11 centimeters. What is its area? So just think of a square with side 11 centimeters. We know that a square has all four sides. Type it in. What we know about a square, all four sides are equal. So it would be 11 times 11, which is works out to 121 centimeters square. Because notice its area. So the unit, oh, they put it there already. Very nice, Trinidad. So the students don't have to put the unit because it's already there. We go. All right. So it says 13, Shari has four kinds and earth decks. They have a total of 
50 cents. So four coins and a 50 cent the value when it totally. So when I add up everything, yeah, that's all I want you guys to read it out in exam. The value of two coins is shown below. Write the correct value of each of the other two coins. This can be tricky because they didn't say that. Uh, let me see. Now. So it's they come to 50 cents. Kinds and the dicks. But this can be any two. Let me read it. Good. Shari has four kinds and the dicks. They have a total of 50 cents. The value of two kinds is shown in below. Write the correct value on each of the two kinds. It no matter because all you have to do is try to make one be 20 cents. I will make one be 25 cents. And the next one 10 cents. Does make a difference. I'm gonna say 25, 30, 40, 50. Yeah, it doesn't make a difference. They didn't say the kinds are the same or whatever. So it's just you just once you add up and you get 50, you're good. So this comes to 15 cents, 10 and that 15, that 40 and that 10 cents. Alright, let's move on to 14. A sales clerk is printed a tab, a tab to show the selling price of for a television. So it says complete the tab below. So basically, it's saying that the cost price is one thousand seven hundred. So one thousand seven forty, and the discount is oh, that means it's a ten percent discount. All right. So what's the selling price? So we have to subtract. All right, very nice question. So seven forty minus one seventy four. And if we are calculating the selling price. The discount means there's a reduction in the price, so we're gonna pay this less. So we're just gonna subtract four from that we can't. So we have three right here. Four out ten, that's become one ten, so that's six out of three. Seven from three, I can't, so what we do, borrow a hundred. So we have that now. And this seven from thirteen, that was six. One from that five, and that one. So the selling price would be one, five, six, six after the discount. Big up. And get a television for what you World Cup 2022 World Cup. So Brazil, Brazil, Brazil. A square label S and the rectangle label R are shown below. The shapes are not drawn to scale. Okay. A square label S and the rectangle. I love this question already. I don't know where I'm going with it, but I love it already. Big up to you guys said some really nice questions. Guys, look out for my pet book, SEA book. It's coming out soon. A square label S and the rectangle R are shown below. The shapes are not drawn to scale. So it says both shapes have the same area. I just know some of the love to question. Calculate the width of the rectangle. Alright. So what we know that we know that a square area. So let's just call this S is equal to 10 multiplied by 10. So we need to know that first. So that works out to 100 centimeters square. And the area for the rectangle, which is you know is length times width. So what we know, we know that the area is 100, and we can clearly see the length is 25. So what multiply by 25 give us a hundred? To show working, we divide both sides by 25. So the width is equal to 4. Because remember, it has the same area. And notice this one would be centimeters. Because it's the length. Alright? So the length for this is 4. And it gives that in both of them area would be 100 centimeters. Very nice question. Guys, please ensure that you are at my winter marathon. That's December 21, December 22, December 23, 
2022. All right, please ensure that so students can learn. All right, item 16, the triangle shown below as only two sides of equal length. What type of triangle is it? All right, so that would be an isosceles, two angles, and two sides equal. So that's an isosceles triangle. Remember, we have the equilateral where all three sides are equal. And we have the scaling where none of the sides are equal. Oh Lord, I have to go on Google and this now. Number 17, it says complete the drawing below to show a triangular base pyramid. Prism, prism. Well on the guys, I'll be right back. Guys, believe it or not, I went on Google to look. All right, so that will be the drawing. I don't want to put out false information. I didn't remember. That's that's how much is. You have to be constantly doing it. All right. So number eighteen says this one is gonna be another problem. I don't understand when it's sick when um they say this. Thing. Alright, Sun Sunil, Sunil, that's all you guys call yourselves. Sunil changes the position of the arrow on the circle that I shown below. He makes a quarter turn, or a quarter turn is 90 degrees. Oh my god. Alright, so that's 90 degrees, and it is anti clockwise. So, anti clockwise means the opposite of clockwise. Clockwise is like this, but we not want it that way. We're going it to this way. Now each, let's calculate what's the value of each. So we have basically, let's see how many hands we have. Uh, they're about eight, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's 360 divided by eight. What I want to do, I want to find out what's the angle between each of them. So we're dividing 360. By eight. Let me see if I use it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here. Gonna get a fraction. All right. No. That'll be forty-five. So one at the turn of forty-five degrees, right? And we want to make it to thirty. So it's here. We go this, so that's 45. Make another one, that's another 45, so this is 90. So it's going to be on the 7. So this is the way it's going to turn. Very nice question, you know, to be good, all right? So it's going to be 7. It's pointing on 7 now because it's anti-clockwise. It's the opposite of clockwise, all right? Let's look at 19. Cookies are packaged in three bags as shown below. So you basically have 15 cookies, 8 cookies, 10 cookies. What is the mean number of cookies in the bag? All right, so the mean or average, how do we obtain the mean or average? Somebody um, check that right now in the comment section. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Which country are you from? Type in your country, guys. Come on, let's go. Everybody, if you watch a video, you know, man. They are from Trinidad, Grenada, any country, the Caribbean, Africa, Europe, Asia. Everybody, if you are watching Mr. Benny channel. All right, let's go. All right, so average or mean is obtained by adding all three numbers and we divide by the total number of numbers that we add. All right, so let's go. So we have three bags, so it's three. So this is what? 15 plus eight, that's 24, no, 23. Plus 10, that's 33. All right, so that's 33 divided by 3. 
So the average copy is going to be 11. Alright. So basically, let us say we take four cookies, right? We take four cookies out of this. So we add one to this. Take out four out of this, you know, and then we add three to this. So you see, all of them have the same number of cookies now. If you take out four out of this, this is one where you can look at it, right? As the average or mean, mean them have all the same. All right, let's move on to 20. The graph below shows the number of haircuts a barber did on five days of a particular week. So we have Monday, one face, Tuesday, four face, Wednesday, two face, Thursday, two face, Friday, that, that one, two, three, four, six faces. Well, let's look at what one of the face represent. If it's one or what. So we need to look at the key. The total number of haircuts done in the five days is 75. How many haircuts were done by the barber on Monday? So what they're saying, all of this, when you add it up, it comes to 75. So let us see how many of these make 75. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now we can count 1. What? Let's do that. I don't understand myself. Okay, so it's 15. So what this is, what we're calculating here is what one represent. Alright? And that would be three, four, five. So it's five. Alright, so one face represents five, and it says how many ear cuts were done by the barber on Monday, so that means it's five. And it's 1 times 5, that gives us 5. Because 1 piece represents 5. Watch Baba, I'm going to go on Monday for everybody to trim over the weekend. Alright, so that's 5 ear cuts. Alright, let's move on to the fraction. Everybody must get on the fraction. And it's worth 2 marks. And it says 5 and a half, subtract. 2 and 5, 8. All right? So let's go. So I'm going to do it 5, 2. I'm going to change it to improper for 5, 2. I'm right about this. It's not a lot. So let me just write it up. So first, let's scan learn. Um, at the C-sec level, you'll be required to do fraction also. All right. So 5, 2 is 10. And 1, 11 over 2. Minus 2, 8, 16. 16 plus 5, that's 21. So that's 21 over 8. Remember, we are subtracting the LCM would be 8. So into 8, if I don't know that, go back on my individual videos for fraction. 2 into 8 goes 4 times, so we multiply by 4. So that will give us 44 minus 8 into itself 1 time. We multiply this by 1, so that gives us 21. So we just subtract, and this leaves 1 from that 3, that's 23 over 8. So it don't reach 3, because 8, 3 is 24, so it's 2 times 7 remain, because it was only 1 over 8. So that's 2 and 7, 8. All right, let's move on to 22. It says, simplify using decimal notation. Okay, so the only one decimal, so it would be, that is good. 5 over 10 is the same as 0 0.5. Oh, we do that. Um, the decimal point is here. When you divide it, you move one place. So this is 0 0.5. And for 310, we're going to put what? Extra zero. As the decimal point is here, so we need to move two places. So one, two. So that would be 0 0.03. I want to show this work out though. We're going to put decimal point on a decimal point. So we're going to have seven. I want to show this because I know students will struggle with this. 0 0.50. And then we have 0 0.03. So 
how do I put these? I don't know, three and a five, so it's seven point five. Very nice question. Very nice question. All right, big up to not to be go again. Thank you guys so much for the support. That is actually what drive me to doing some of your papers specifically for your grade six SCP. All right. All right, let's move on to 23. All right, so Carrie had $60 as, as an allowance for the week. So you have $60, that's what I'm going to give the total. She spent, oh, it's a girl. Oh, sorry. She spent two fifths of it on snack, a quarter of it on stickers, and saved the remainder. What fraction did what fraction did she spend on snack and stickers together? All right, so we all we have to do is just add, as they ask for fraction. So all we have to do is just add a quarter and the two fifth, and that will be what this woman mark. So let's go. So it's two fifth plus a quarter. LCM, we add in LCM will be twenty. 5 into 20, that's 4. So we multiply 2 times 4. That's 8. 4 into that 1. 5 rather. So sometimes it's very amazing. So she spent a total of 8 plus 5, which is 13 over 20. So that's what she spent. Basically, as a fraction, that's 30 over 20. All right, for the next one now, it says, Carrie, how much money did she see? So originally, she had, what was it, 60, I'm put that one here, so. so originally, she had $60. And she spent 13 over 20. That means she have a remainder of 720. All right. So all we have to do is 7 over 20 times and we get the money. All right. So bam. That goes into it three times. So she saved $21. All right. So here we go. $21. So she spent what? What a 60? Yeah, she had $21. All right, so let's move on to the 24. It says, in a car park, three fifths of the cars are blue and the remainder are white. What percentage of the cars are white? All right, so if three fifths of the cars or blue that look like argentina colino <laughs> they're going down they're going down today mexico gonna kill them all right so it's three fifth are blue that means two fifth are white all right as a, as a percentage we times it by a hundred percent and that should give us our answer which is five into five one five into that goes 20 times Two times that is forty percent. So basically, it's two marks. So basically, sixty percent are blue, which is three fifth, and the remainder are white, which is forty percent. All right, Alim. Alim collected seashells over the weekend. He collected forty-five seashells on Saturday and three times as many on Sunday. How many seashells did Ali collect on Sunday? So that is very straightforward. So it's three times, which means we're going to multiply it by three. So three, five, 15, five, carry one, three, four, 12, and one, third. So Ali collected 135 seashells on a Sunday. Big up. What percent of the seashells collected all weekend did she collect on Saturday? All right, so let's go. This is the way we're going to look at it. So we are focused on Saturday, but it says what percentage over the weekend? So the weekend means the total, assuming that's what they mean. So in all, she collected 135 plus the 45. 
5 of 5, 10, 0 carry 1, so that's 180, right? Um, what percentage she, she collected? What percent of the she, she collected on weekend did she collect on Saturday? All right, so how many did she collect on Saturday? It was originally 45, so that would be a quarter. But let us work it out. So it's 45. Hundred percent. All right. So this into this one, this into this four. And then we divide four. So it's as I say, it's twenty five percent, which is a quarter. All right. So let's look at number twenty six. I'm not sure if there will be a part in for this. The table will show the points scored for eating three different colored targets in a video game. So if you boom, if you eat a white, you only get two points. If you eat a blue, you get three points. And if you eat a goal, you get five points. All right, so Anna, pick up yourself, Anna. Anna scored 53 points in playing the game. She the blue target four times and the white target three times. How many times did she eat the gold? Target. Right, let's look at this one now. This is a very tricky one. So it says now, Anna scored 53 points. So what we know, let's always put what we know. We know when everything come down to the nitty gritty, she scored a total of well, what was it? Sorry guys. So it says that she scored 53 points. She hit the blue target four times. So let's do that. So four times something. For the blue, it's three. So it's four times three. Just a form an equation, you know. And then now um the white target three times. So that's three times two plus whatever number, all right? So we're gonna divide this. So the goal, it'll be five X, right? Five times, so we'll give you the goal, all right? So let's go. Four, three is 12. Three, two is six plus five X. I'm gonna explain why I have five x in the end, right? So we have now six and two, that's 18. So we have 18 plus five x, because gold represent five, it's five times so Give you that, right? So that's five x. Just to elaborate on it. And then now we're gonna have five x is equal to, 53, I will subtract 18. Since it's over there. All right, so let's go, 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 go now. So we have 53, 18. Eight from three, you can't, so you borrow one, that leave four. Eight from that what? leave five, so that's 35. So guess what? It would be 35 divided by five. And that is seven times the gold one. Just awesome, awesome. So the gold one was hit seven times. And that's a well worked three, seven, three marks, all right? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Half class, you know, half class today, so. Now 27 says a food vendor transported 360 mangoes in the market. While transporting the mangoes, ten percent of them were damaged. How many mangoes were damaged? So it's ten percent. That means whatever is damaged, you just multiply it by ten and you get it total. So that means I'm thirty-six. But let's just show the working because you guys are young. 
So bam, I divide by 10, bam, we divide by 10. So that gives us 36 mangoes, right? 10%, 10 of it make up the total, right? The mangoes that were not damaged were picked into the box of 12. How many boxes were used to pack the mangoes? So the ones that are not damaged. So first we need to find the total. So we have 360 in damage, the total, and then 36 out of that damage. So the remainder, all right? So six rounds that you can't, so you borrow one, that leave four, three from five, leave two. So we have a total of 324, and we have 12 per box. See there, it said 12. So we're gonna divide 324, by 12 and see how many boxes we need. All right. So we're going to pack up the mangoes, pack up the mangoes. Let's go. So 12 into 3, I can't. 12 into 32, that's 2 times. All right. So each 36, so 2 times that should give us 24. So we're going to subtract now, ain't it? Bam. That left 8. So this is 2, carry 1. So that leaves 8. And then now we carry down the four. So now all we have to do is see how many groups of 12 we can get out of eight four. And that would give us the remainder. Now no, how many boxes were were used? So it's 84 divided by 12, which is what number multiply by 12 give it? That's seven. So it is exactly 27 boxes. Very nice question. Pick up yourself. So it's 27 boxes needed for the remainder. All right, Fender, big up yourself. All right, so it says now, five years ago, Paul was three eight of his father age. Paul, father is now 37 years old. How old is Paul now? All right, so let's just reason it out. So it says five years ago, Paul was three eight. Five years ago, Paul father was 37 minus five, so that he was actually, so five years ago, he was 32. So Paul, yeah, for me. Hold on, the guys, I'm pause this for a call. It's most one of my new students. All right, welcome back, welcome back. So it says five years ago, I was three eight. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna find three eight of 32, and that's gonna give his father age. Let me answer. Yeah, so we find three eight. Not even remember what we have find, but we look soon. It's another one that goes on four. Eight, four is 32, so yeah. So that means five years ago, he was this age, which is Paul. So Paul, five years ago, Paul was 12. But that's not the answer, right? Because he say, how old is Paul now? So if, it, if this was five years ago, it would be 12 plus the five. This is a very tough question though. So he's 17. So no, Paul is currently 17. And see, they give you three marks, sorry. Very nice question, though. Very nice question. All right. 29, the volume of a cuboid shown below is 48 centimeters cubic. The length of the cuboid is 3 centimeters. The width is 2 centimeters. What is the height of? What is the height? What? And the height is? So we'll need to find the height. So volume, we know that it's 2 multiplied by h. We don't know the height. Multiplied by 3, and that should give you 48. So it's a very easy, straightforward question. Right? So 3 times 2, that's 6. So we can say 6h equal 48. So all we have to do now is to say bam. Divide by six, and that is our answer. Forty-eight divided by that so each height, which present the height, is eight centimeters. Notice its length. 
so it's eight centimeters. All right, so if you should see it, two times three, six, six, eight, forty eight. Very nice question. We're gonna stop at 30, but there's a part two. Uh, I'm gonna do the part two. All right, so let's see what it says now. Burns ran the following distance over a two week period while training for the Olympics week one. He ran a total distance of three kilometer, eight to eight, 800 meter. And we two, 2.75 2 kilometer. What is the total covered by Burns over the two weeks? I'm assuming they were in kilo meter so three three is the same thing as 3.8 right because 1000 meter makes one kilometer right so this 2.75 is as it does in 750 meter right so let's go 2.75 i'm just gonna leave it in kilometer Guys, please ensure that you are subscribed so you can get part two, five, seven, and eight, two, five, carry one. So he covered a total of 6.55 kilometer. All right, so it goes up to 46, I think. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to be a part of my class, doesn't matter which country you are in. If you're in San Diego, if you're in Africa, if you're in Zambia, if you're in Korea, it doesn't matter. Just give me a WhatsApp call and we'll get started out with CV. WhatsApp me at this 5492161. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please ensure that you come back for part two of this. All right. I have a class, so I have to go and start out. That. So this is part one. I am Lenox 20. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's a benefit. Appreciate you all. Please ensure that you are subscribed. If you have not liked the video, please ensure you do so now. This is Lenox 20. Come out without. See you guys in another video.